Time for the two-minute drill. Joining us now is NFJ Investment Group Senior Portfolio Manager Burns McKinney. Burns, good to see you. you. Uh, first of all, Thanks. give us a, your take on, on just the action here near term. You know, the big conversation is uh, it seems as if the market maybe is easing off the panic about inflation, whether it can be tamed toward the concerns about growth. And, you know, we, we've down 24 percent discounted some of that. Where are we in that process? Well, despite the fact that the central bank did get a little bit behind the curve or a bit behind the curve in fighting inflation, one thing that, that Powell and the team did do a good job and have done a good job with is just being very transparent. There haven't been a lot of market surprises. And so when they speak like they did today, um, you know, you haven't seen a lot of shocks. And, you know, one of the things that I think the market really welcomed today was just the, the, the concept that the Fed is going to continue to be data dependent going forward. And, you know, really, we, we're, we're living in a market in which it's really very binary based on what you see on the coming inflation data. You know, when the CPI comes out, if that comes out a little bit um, you know, larger than expected, then you can expect the markets to assume that the Fed's going to have to be more aggressive and they might actually pull yeah. back. But any signs at all that maybe inflation might be peaking and such as such, the Fed could maybe uh, you know, move a little more slowly would probably be seen as very positive for equities. Yeah, that seems to be the, uh, the sort of tennis match we're watching back and forth. Um, in terms of individual names, I mean, the average stock in the S&P has had more than a 30 percent drop at this point. I know you're finding uh, some that uh, look like buys right now. Talk about LAM Research. LAM Research, for those who aren't as familiar with it, it's a semi-capital equipment company. They uh, do they have a 50 percent market share in wafer etching. And, you know, one of the things that, you know, we've seen in, in recent months is there have been shortages of chips, which means that the chip makers are going to have to invest in new capacity. LAM is one of the winners there. It, it trades at a discount to its, its peers. Um, one of the things we really like is that they've raised the dividend by 27 percent per year for the last five years. That's a great way to keep up with inflation. And likewise, because these, uh, you know, semi-cap equipment companies tend to be um, a bit cyclical, you want a strong balance sheet. And LAM has more cash than debt on the balance sheet. And so for a name that they're growing earnings, they're growing the dividend, and they have a, a rock solid um, financial condition, getting that at trading at around 11 times earnings, it's trading really below average for S&P stocks. Yeah, uh, and 40% uh, off, uh, off its high. Seems like maybe uh, some value surfacing sure. there. Burns, Fred, we've got to leave it there. I appreciate the time today. Thank you.